So we've come to Alton Park to do a tyre test. Nobody knows which is the best tyre. Luckily, we've got the opportunity to test all of the different tyres. So we've got the Zestino, the MRF, the Nankang AL1, the Pirelli P0 uh, Trofeo R, the Dunlop Dereza, Nankang NS2R and the AD08 RS. Obviously there's a bit of a mix, some of them are more road based than track based. Um, the Dunlop is the only one that isn't road legal, however I know some people use them on the road. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be an interesting day to see which tyre performs the best. We're obviously going to take in many factors, cost, performance, lap time, uh, just overall general feel and some other feedback throughout the day. Uh, we're going to start with the Zestino and see how we get on. The day is uh, nice and sunny and dry. It's due to be 21 degrees. It's uh, 16 degrees at the moment, but it's going to keep warming up and we'll just see how we get on. Each tyre manufacturer has given us an ideal hot pressure, so we'll document that and make sure that we achieve that. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of trial and error with cold pressures to get them up to the hot pressures. Uh, so we'll, we'll manage that and we've got the Garmin Catalyst keeping data all day as well as we've got the live timing from Alton Park, the official timing. So we best get on with it, we're on track in five minutes. track on the Zestinos. I've not driven on these before so not sure what they're going to be like. The initial feel feels quite good, the car feels quite balanced. We'll just try and get up to pace for a lap or so. Okay, starting to push on now, a bit into turn one there's a bit of understeer. I could feel the ABS through the brake pedal as well. These tyres felt great when I was driving up to 70%. Driving faster trying to get a lap time, I feel like they're suffering a little bit. When I started doing fast lap, then they were under steering and I was getting a bit of ABS. What are these now, am I? Mm -hmm. On 
to the MRS now. Straight away, you can feel that these feel better than the road-based tyres. The car feels really pointy, even when the tyres are cold. Let's see what we can do. Turn one. See if we can get a decent lap time. outlap on the Trofeo R's. These are a bit slippy. I knew this from when I'd driven before. Yeah, it's still quite slippy now, even though we've done one lap. I think it's going to take a while to get these up to temperature. I guess it's the rears. Let's just see what we can do with them. heading into dinner. Uh, we managed to get three tyres tested this morning. We we're open for four but there was a red flag that caused a bit of a delay for us. Um, so we've done the Zestinos, the Trofeo R's and the MRF's. Um, all very different tyres to be honest. We start with the Zestinos. Um, great tyre to drive to the track on. Um, great fun to about seven tenths uh, and then started getting a lot of ABS and understeer. So I think if you drive to the track and you're going to drive around and just have some fun. Great tyre. Um, weren't particularly quick, but yeah, just overall, not a bad tyre. We then tried the MRF, and straight away, I could tell the difference. Even on the outlap, the car felt really pointy. Um, it just felt ready to go. So, did a warm up lap, then we went for it, and literally within two laps, it was flying two seconds quicker than the Zestino and the car just felt amazing. No ABS, no understeer, just a good balanced car, great feel. Um, yeah, highly recommend them. The pressures came up as we expected. We'll, we'll document that in the video. Um, but yeah, good all-rounder and they're e-marked so you can drive to the track on them. Then we did the uh, Trofeo R's. Um, the, uh, the Trofeo R's took a lot of time to come up to temperature about three laps in fact, and actually on lap two, I nearly lost the back of the car. Um, they, obviously on a front wheel drive car, it's difficult to get temperature into the back of back tires. So obviously that was a factor, but they still took a long time to go up to temperature. So for um, any kind of race without warm up laps, I think they'd be, they'd be difficult. They're obviously road legal. Um, once they're up to temperature, they felt good. So that's it for the, the three tyres this morning. I'm um, going to have some lunch and then try and get a load more done this afternoon. Back to my old favourites, the AR1. Loads of grip straight away. The car feels amazing, even on my outlap. Oh, a nice bit of traffic to play with. That's a Class C Club Enduro car, it'd be the same class as us. The car feels really balanced. 
advanced on these. Braking's good. Nankang back-to-back test. Um, it wasn't planned that way, but just the way it fell. So we did the AR1 first and then the NS2R. Um, AR1 was incredible out of the box. If I was doing sprint racing or hill climbing, definitely be using the AR1 because literally by the first corner it was gripping up and ready to go. Um, the car just felt so planted on the tyres, it was predictable. It was yeah, it just did exactly what I was expecting throughout the whole session. Um, pressures came up nicely and it didn't go off either. So yeah, just a, a really good all-rounder. Um, I'd say the feel was marginally better than the MRF and the lap time was identical even though the track uh, time has probably got a little bit slower this afternoon. So in reality, if it was a true back-to-back, -back, they might be a little bit quicker than the MRF. We then did the NS2R. Um, these are a, a very much road tyre that can go on track. And they proved that really, they, they were only two seconds slower than the AR1, but when they're over 200 pound cheaper for a set and you can drive on them all year round and then go and do a track day, incredible tire. Um, there was less overall grip and they obviously, they're not as quick because of that, but they were very balanced, no excessive understeer, oversteer, just a lack of total grip. Um, but yeah, great, a great fun tire and definitely something I'd be picking if I was dailying my track car. So we've obviously got two categories of tyres that we're testing really. Um, we've got the kind of road-based tyre and the track-based tyre. The NS2R and the Zestino at the moment are, are the competitors with each other. Um, the NS2R was a better feeling tyre. I didn't get the ABS that I was getting on the Zestino. So I'd pick that one out of those two. And then on the, um, the track-based tyres, it's a difficult one between the MRF and the AR1. The AR1 is slightly cheaper uh, and probably felt a little bit better. I think for the wet, the MRF has probably got the edge slightly, but if I was to just pick a tyre right now, it would be the AR1. On to the Dunlops now. I know these are a lot of people's favourites. Let's see how good they are. Oh, they feel really good now into turn one. I reckon this is going to be a good lap. The car just feels amazing, really balanced, good on brakes. Final session was meant to be the Dunlop Dereza and the 808 RS. Um, sadly, it got red flagged early, so we didn't get out on the 808 RS, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but the Dunlop was phenomenal. Uh, definitely the fastest tyre of the day. Didn't come on as quick as the AR1, so still, again, if you're doing hill climbing or sprints, I think the AR1 is a better tyre. But once the Dereza was up to temperature and, and going, it was phenomenal. Um, I think it was three tenths quicker than the AR1 on a on a back-to-back -back line uh, on a back-to-back -back lap so yeah um felt really good as well and the tire pressure has gone up high so i think there was even more in it if we dropped the pressures down although it's not a road legal tire so the swings are roundabouts for everything anyway we're heading off now and we'll summarize when we get back to tegua
Right, we had a great day today um, at Alton Park. We'd really dropped on when we booked it. Uh, obviously, we thought it was going to be a bit risky being in October, but actually, um, the track was really quick. Everyone else testing was saying how quick the track was. Air temperature was 19 degrees, uh, and it was just a great day. Sadly, um, because it was sessions, we actually only had 15 minutes per tyre to test them. So it wasn't the optimum, but obviously each tyre got the same amount of time, which meant that it was a, a fair test. We also did the same with pressures. We kept all the tyres at the same starting pressure. Um, every manufacturer recommended about the same hot pressure, which is around 30, 31. Uh, obviously some tyres came in with a pressure a lot higher than, than others, but it was, um, it, we just kept it all fair that way. Also, obviously we didn't change the car from tyre to tyre. So potentially there's quite a bit of time to be made up in um, brake choices or suspension setup. So it was just a fair test throughout all the different tyres we did. The uh, Zestina that we started on, I was uh, very impressed with. It uh, felt great up until driving at about seven tenths. So to be fair, that's the kind of pace that you can drive on a track day when you've got other cars that you can't actually overtake. Obviously, as we were on a test day, we were able to do lap times it started to lack a little bit when I started to push on. Um, although the tyres are a good all-round tyre and can be used on the road, drive to the track, do your track day and drive home again. The NS2R is also a similar tyre to this, which you can drive every day on the road. Um, the NS2R has got better wet grip than the Zestino, so obviously we didn't test the wet, but that's a potential factor to bear in mind and the NS2R is £35 per tyre cheaper. However, the Zestino was 0.6 seconds quicker than the NS2R. So they've both got the positives. Um, it's, it's a very hard one to choose and obviously different cars will have um, different effects on them as well. But I was impressed with them both and the fact that they were within two seconds of the actual out and out track tyres made that they would be a great choice for anyone who does the occasional track day and wants to keep the same tyres on the car whilst they're driving to track. Right, onto the track tyres now, the actual track focus tyres. Um, AR1, the Pirelli Trofeo R, the MRF and the Dunlop de Reza. The Dunlop de Reza isn't road legal, so this changes things a little bit for the, uh, the purposes of this test. But anyway, um, we'll start at the beginning. MRF. Uh, the MRF doesn't come in the size that we were testing, but the guys at MRF were happy for us to run a 215 against all the other 225s. They were confident that it would have enough grip and, and enough pace to keep up. We obviously use this tyre on the Type R Trophy as the controlled tyre, so we know it was going to be a good tyre and, and it's very well balanced. Driving the car on these tyres felt great. Um, good, good braking, good turning. As soon as we put the tyres on the car, it felt good. The out and out pace was nearly there, and with a bit more setup on the car, we would have broke the two minute lap time. Then onto the AR1. Well, I knew from uh, history that this was going to be a good tyre. We used to have this as a controlled tyre in M3 Cup, and I started my club enduro racing on this tyre. The one amazing fact on this tyre is it's a br brilliant straight out the box. Literally, by turn one, you can be going flat out. So for anyone that's doing hill climbing or sprints, it works perfectly. It's also a road legal tyre, as is the MRF. So both these can be driven onto the track. The wet grip, obviously, isn't potentially as good as the, the earlier, more road tyres, but the MRF works well, uh, as we know from Typo Trophy, when they're new and they've got sharp edges. And the, NS, uh, the AR1, also works well as long as you can keep heating it. Then we tried the Trofeo R. I had high hopes for because last year we won the club two wheel drive time attack championship on the NSX with these tyres. They always take a little bit of time to bring up to temperature, but have great grip and, and great feel. However, on the Civic, in the 15 minutes we had, this didn't really turn out to be. Uh, I just struggled to get heat into the rear tyres and the car was just a little bit unnervy the whole time. So I think if you've got more time than 15 minutes, which obviously everyone does, um, and a rear wheel drive car or a front wheel drive car that you can put more heat into rear tires, 
then they're a great tyre. The, the pace was there because even though the actual lap time wasn't that good, the predictive lap time, which is made up of all the best bits from that session, showed that it could match the Dereza. So if it was a little bit more predictable, um, then it would be there. However, it's an expensive tyre, it is £240 per tyre, which is the most expensive in the test, but it's also two kilos lighter than some of the other tyres, making it a very light tyre, and in fact, it's noticeably lighter when you're picking them up. So this also potentially has a factor if you're doing um, races where you want out and out performance. We finally got onto the Dunlop Dereza, and I was amazed. I couldn't believe how good the tyre was. It isn't road legal, so you can't really use it to drive to the track and, and do your track day, but if you're racing, uh, it's, a, it's a great choice. It is a List 1C, so not every championship can use it, but the grip started after about half a lap of warm-up, and then it was consistent, and the car was just getting faster and faster. Sadly, again, we ran out of time. Uh, the pressures came in a lot higher. They came in at 35 PSI, whereas we were aiming for 31. So if we had a chance to bleed them down and go again, the car would have gone a lot quicker. But even at that pressure, they felt great. The lap times on the day were the slowest was the Nankang NS2R, doing a 2 minute, 2 second, 0.6. The Zestino did a 2 minute, 2.2. The Trofeo R did a 2 minute 1.1, the AR1 did a 2 minute 0.2, the MRF did a 2 minute 0.19, and the Dereza did a 1 minute 59.5, making it the fastest on the day. To conclude, there's no real winner here, we don't think. Uh, every tyre has got a place. The Zestino was the fastest of the uh, road track tyre. The NS2R was a little bit slower than it, but it's cheaper. The AR1 was an amazing tyre that works straight away and very consistent. The MRF is a great tyre that uh, has got decent wet grip and just gives a good lap time. The Trofeo R as we know works amazing on the NSX and on rear wheel drive cars. And the Dunlop was the fastest tyre on the day, however isn't road legal, but if you're racing and you can use List 1C tyre, then that's the tyre to choose. So sadly, I think the big tyre debate is going to continue. Obviously everyone's going to have something different to take from the video, but hopefully there's enough information here to help you choose which of your next tyres.